In the next two minutes, we will show you how easily and fast it is to install your Mustang wind deflector in the back of your convertible Mustang. Your wind deflector can be left in place with the top up or down. As you'll see, the wind deflector is placed in the backseat area. Start by lowering it into the backseat area, and then all four brackets will grab the rear trim panels. Next, we attach four straps, two to the back and two to the front. We'll show you how the straps go in in a minute. As you'll see, the wind deflector goes in and out of your car in under 30 seconds. And that's it. Two in the front, two in the back. Give them a tighten and the wind deflector is ready to go. The front bracket inserts right behind the front seat belt. The rear brackets lay on top of the rear trim. All four of these brackets have been coated with a special plastisole as not to scratch your trim pad. There are four straps. The two black ones hook into the child anchor system. You'll notice small holes right in the middle of your seat. They just slide forward and then you pull the strap, the hook back, that locks into place. The two silver straps attach to the bottom of your trim panel right below your front seats. Attach these straps with the buckles to the bottom of the wind deflector, pull the straps tight, and you're ready to go. Removal of your wind deflector is just as easy. Move your seat forward, remove the four straps, pull down your wind deflector, and remove it. It's just that simple. The straps come with quick release buckles, so once you've adjusted them once, you just snap and unsnap them, and in the, out of the car they go. Your wind deflector stores in the trunk. Just remember to put the rear brackets in first, and then just slide the wind deflector in. Always use the storage bag that is provided freely. When you've received your Mustang wind deflector, you'll find that the front brackets are facing down. You'll have to just simply remove the top two screws, turn the bracket up, and then replace the screws. You will need a Phillips or a Starbase screwdriver. You only have to do this once, as once you have this done, you'll never have to do it again. And again, it stores in the trunk with the brackets in the up position. So just simply remove the two screws, insert the two screws back into the two holes, and you're done. Do this for both sides, and you're ready to go. With your wind deflector, we give a step-by-step -step PDF installation guide on how to install the brackets and how to install the wind deflector in your car. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or want more information about our Love the Drive wind deflectors. Now you're ready to get out there and love the drive.